Here's a big surprise, and this is going to shock the globe. Germany ends its electric vehicle subsidies immediately. So Germany has decided to end its electric vehicle subsidies on Wednesday, December 13th, suddenly. And German leaders announced the ending of these subsidies due to the 2024 budget constraints. But there is more to the picture. So initially there was an environmental purchase premium for e-cars, as they call them, for 6,000 euros. That's about 6,555 US dollars. One of the foremost proponents of the e-mobility in Germany or the push for electric cars has now fully backtracked. Professor Ferdinand Dudenhofer, Germany's leading automotive analyst, and he is a very well-known person in Europe, just posted on LinkedIn and quote, that's it for EVs in Germany. It's good if you haven't written off the combustion engines. I was entirely wrong on the fatherland. First, I give him credit for admitting he was wrong. Not too many people do that these days, but Germany has killed the 4,500 euro EV subsidy as of that day, and because of the government's budget rules, they found it unconstitutional from the German Supreme Court, and they needed to cut the subsidies also because of budget, so they did it immediately. Germany has been on the forefront of electrification since former Chancellor Angela Merkel proclaimed her support. German brands have aggressively pushed for the transformation, but customers haven't followed along because of the high cost, the reduced utility, and the hidden environmental impacts of EVs, stated Jens Meiner, who is the chairman emeritus of the World Car of the Year Awards. In quote, EV sales have been a massive disappointment in Europe, and it seems that the pundits and the politicians are moving away from it as fast as they can. I'm not surprised, considering it's an inferior product, close quote. At the end of December 17th, 2023, a new application for the environmental bonus can be submitted, stated the German Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Protection, but there's no guarantee there'll be any money. And that environmental bonus was introduced by the Grand Coalition in 2016. And since then, a total of about 10 billion euros has been paid out or 2.1 million electric vehicles. But this is a huge change because now those in favor of the subsidy stated that this decision is a blow to the mobility turnaround and the climate protection with the abrupt capping of the promotion of e-cars, said the Minister of Economic Affairs. And it's torpedoed the acceptance of electric vehicles in Germany. Germany's move comes amid tighter restrictions on electric vehicles in France. As of December 15th, France effectively limited EV subsidies for up to 7,000 euros. That's about 7,600 US dollars to electric cars made in Europe. Chinese made vehicles, including the Tesla Model 3, are no longer eligible. The Tesla Model Y will still be eligible because Tesla makes the crossover in the Berlin area plant. Now here in the US, there are fewer electric cars that will qualify for the federal tax credits in 2024. And purchases of the popular vehicles like the Tesla Model 3 or the Ford Mach-E may no longer entitle buyers to the tax savings because the cars do not meet the tougher sourcing requirements. Again, more government intervention. Tesla stated on its website that while customers who take delivery of a qualified new Tesla and meet all the federal requirements will be eligible for the $7,500 tax credit. Reductions are likely for certain for vehicles in 2024, and you must take delivery by 1231-23 to qualify for that full $7,500 tax credit. The Treasury's Department December 1st update on the Inflation Reduction Act credit rules involved in, quote, foreign entity of concern requirements, which include China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, which impacts the tax credits for consumers. Other brands impacted include Volvo, where 79% of the company is owned by Chinese automaker Geely, which means some of the Volvo models and its premium brand Polestar may be affected for the U.S. tax credit, even though they may be built here in the U.S. The 2024 Volvo EX30 electric SUV, which we reviewed, you can check that out up here, will unfortunately not qualify. And few models of the Audi Q5, BMW 330i, BMW X5, Genesis GV70 electrified, and the Volvo S60 no longer qualify for the EV tax credit. General Motors brands that are built with the Ultimum platform still are eligible and include the new Blazer EV, the Chevy Silverado EV, which is coming out in late 2024. But what else is eligible for 24? There's not that many vehicles. Actually, there's only 10. The Chevy Bolt EV coming in at the lowest price of $26,500. The Chevrolet Equinox EV, the Ford F-150 Lightning, Tesla Model 3 Performance, Chevrolet Silverado EV, Tesla Model Y Performance, the Chrysler Pacifica minivan, the plug-in hybrid, the Chevrolet Blazer EV, the Cadillac Lyric, and the Tesla Model X. That's it. 
So some EVs like the Mach-E and the Nissan Leaf are only eligible for a partial credit of $3,750 and used vehicles have a maximum price of $25,000 can qualify for up to $4,000. That's not many vehicles at all. Starting in 2024, the 40% critical mineral requirement increases to 50% and 60% in 2025, 70% in 2026, and 80% in 2027. The 50% battery component requirement increases to 60% in 2024 and 25, 70% in 26, 80% in 27. What does all this mean? 100% in 2029 means that most likely zero vehicles will be eligible. So if you want that $7,500 tax credit and you got your eye on an electric car, now is the time to buy before the year comes to an end. This is what all of this really means. Every government, not just Germany, should get politicians out of people's lives, including deciding what kind of car they can manufacture and buy. Let the free market decide based on supply and demand. The consumer must be the king and the market must be free. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I am sure you will. I'll be happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.